Today most of the people can afford an inverter battery for their own requirement but most of them don't know how to calculate the battery size or what capacity do they actually need. For that they either go for a consultant where they pay a much higher amount or they go to seller and uh, most of the time they being cheated. So in this video we will discuss how to calculate a battery size for your home requirement or for your any project. Hi, I am Vicky Padhi on Vicky Engineer welcomes you. In this video we will uh, learn how to calculate the battery size. So as you see over here this is the ready data set where you have to only do to enter the parameters over here highlighted in yellow cells so that uh, you will get the required battery capacity at the end. So let's start. This is the 0.5 kVA. This I got from the UPS calculation. If you don't know how to calculate the UPS size or you haven't been to our previous video how to ca calculate the UPS size, I will give the link in the description as well as in the card button above so that uh, you can go through. And the second is the 0.8 is a power factor. Uh, widely in India, its power factor is considered as 0.8. So I I have did. If in your area uh, it goes uh, beyond 0.8, that's 0.85 or 0.9. You always can uh, have that in the list. Once you enter the power power factor over here, you will get what the load in what is. Here the safety factor is considered. I considered safety factor over here. The reason is that in some cases, if if uh, we will uh, switch on all our appliances at, uh, at one time then the peak current will go uh, well beyond uh, than the required so that in that case the battery will be drained at that time so i have considered here over uh, 0.2 over here so that we get uh, 480 watt as the load uh, in what is then the next thing is what is uh, the current phase whether it is one phase or three phase once you consider one phase over here, the bat, uh, voltage automatically selected is 230 volt. If you select uh, three phase over here, that automatically automatically goes to 415. As on the current also, once you will select one phase over here, the current automatically comes to 2.61 ampere. And uh, till now we are discussing on the load part. Now we will start the battery part. Now first thing is battery input voltage. Battery input voltage is the voltage which is considered at the time of charging the battery. That is the input voltage, not at the discharge, at the time of charging. And the value is uh, written almost all the batteries. If you don't find in some batteries, you can uh, Google the model number of that battery so that you will get all the data set over here. Mostly it's 12 volts, so I have considered 12 volt. If you have more, you can always add over here. And the next is number of batteries. Here I have considered one. If you have two batteries or three batteries, you always can. Uh, next is uh, how much time you need to back up. I have considered it's uh, one hour over here. If you need more than that, you always can uh, enter the data over here. And the next is battery efficiency. But efficiency is that thing if you are uh, pushing 100 to a system and what is the system discharging it if it, it is discharging at 95 at that uh, point uh, the efficiency is 95 percent uh, in most of the batteries the efficiency ranges from uh, 0.85 to 0.92 or 0.95 95. in the safer side on an average I consider the 0.9 you go by the exact data as you see on the battery specification so we got uh, 44 as as per our, uh, actual requirement and the uh, formula over here is b17 that is the power in voltage into f15 that is the time needed to be backup divided upon f13 here f and the 13 is uh, the total input voltage multiplied by F17. This is the uh, formula entered over here. And one more thing we have considered over is uh, the discharge factor. 
this is uh, uh, this thing is considered actually in safer side if you don't need uh, you uh, may not let me first explain what discharge factor is in battery if the capacity is 44 s in no case uh, battery should be drained total uh, 44 h at time as per, as per the manufacturer's advice battery should keep uh, 20 to 30 percent as per the it varies from manufacturer to manufacturer with them at any case otherwise it will affect the battery life in uh, that case i considered uh, on that actually i consider 0.2 as a discharge factor if you not considering 0.2 then the total charging capacity the of uh, total capacity of battery will be 44 h if you are considering then that will be 53 h it is our requirement for our project then the next part is how to select the battery first question arises here is is 53 h battery as per our custom requirement available in market mostly it not if it is not then what to do if uh, what is the next available size if it is 55 age or 50 age what is the next size it may be low it may be high what one low one high so as for that we have to select the uh, battery size while selecting two things uh, uh, need to be noticed one is the charging current and the second is discharging current what is the discharging current i have noticed over uh, i have written over here for your notice that is maximum discharging current must not exceed 30 percent of battery age capacity for battery longer life that is if if the capacity is 44 age over here that is one third is uh, 30 percent is 13 to 14 ampere in no case the discharge current battery should discharge 14 uh, for more than 14 ampere at a time that is the load current over here is the discharge current of the battery load current the line current of your load is the discharge current of your battery if you lower the load over here the discharge current lowers over here so that your battery runs more, more time if you highest the load over here then the high uh, discharge current gets high and the battery capacity goes low that's the simple formula so for now i think you must have some clarity on this topic if you have some query or suggestion do let me know in the comment section below so that i can revert you back till then signing off bye bye see you next